Welcome back everybody. Some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to play Balata in with 9 on the Open Online, which is Championship Tees Normal Cups today. But we're going to do it with the normal clubs, then we're going to do it with the custom clubs, just to sort of see what difference it makes. Um, I don't know, a lot of people are starting to get their custom clubs who watch me. I don't mean asking loads of questions, so I'll show you the difference. So let's play it first, Standard Clubs. And this is Championship Tees, this is going to be tough because we just don't have the length. Um, and then we'll play it with the custom clubs. And we'll see what the differences are. I mean, primarily driving greens on par fours. Although that might still be tricky on championship length. So we take the little shortcut here, because we're on um, short clubs. So we've still got 96 to go. So we've got a reasonable shot in. Yeah, a bit long, a bit right. Yeah. It'll come back a bit. Yeah, maxed out the approach wedge for power, though. Which is always a good thing. We've got a birdie putt, though. A bit further away than I'd probably have liked. But we've got it right down the middle. It's a birdie start, and we've got six under for this before. I think it must have been raining. Oh, it's a par four. Okay. Mm, do I want power shot here? Just see if I can get it over that little hill. Let's give it a crack. Because I get on that down slope, I'll get an extra kind of 15 yards. So it's worth see if we can get there. Go on. Nah, it's not quite got the legs to get there, is it? Into the wind a little bit too much. Still, 100 to go. So you can drive the green. A lot of people driving the green there. It's a hundred to go. I under hit that and I put backspin on it. Oh, I got a nice bounce in towards the pin there. And then promptly spam back 20 foot. Yeah, never mind. So another birdie pot. Sloping downhill. Certainly getting my pot in practice today. Got it. Phew. It's a birdie birdie start. Both here for 10 foot. So I need to get this closer. 12 is a par 3. 12 is the par 3. Ah. Trying to be a bit too cute there, I think. I'm going to hit the front face. Oh no, just hooked on here. Didn't get enough spin to hold it. Just bounce forward. So another tricky birdie pup. Looks like it slopes up. Works to the left. Three out of three. Got to start getting these closer though. Can't keep hitting them. 12 foot's kind of... You want to get them inside 12 foot. It's a par 5. It's a 13 par 5. We'll definitely use a power shot on this. Could do with all the help I can get. Bit of top and side spin there. Just got on the down slope. Give me a few more yards. So, 160 to go. Six iron in there. Definitely going backspin for this. Didn't get it. Oh, nice shot. All about where this pitch is. Yeah, front face kind of checked it a little bit. Get a chip though. And it's for an eagle. We love a chip. Got it. Chipping eagle, I'll take it. Oh, a nice eagle. So we're doing all right so far. 14's the path which I appear to have bogeyed. Oh, 14. It's a par four. 
Again, you've got to hold for the water here, so there's no point really trying to take the case off it. Certainly no point in the power shot. Just play it up there, get it safe. And it's all about the second shot. So, under 100, so we're in approach wedge range. Again, look at that, it's a really nasty part of the green. Yeah, I went for the back and the side spin. Got a bit of it, didn't get the super spin though. Oof. Yeah. Way short. Chip though. Tricky bump. Need a bit of luck here. No, I didn't get it. Line wasn't right. Focus. Gonna have to take the part. Ah, so we stay at five, but we didn't poke it at least. Again, the championship tees don't actually make this course that much longer. They're pretty much just behind the long tees. Some of the course, like Canada, where you get a completely separate teeing area for the championship tees that's kind of 20 yards away, it's a completely different line, completely changes the whole. These all seem to be pretty straightforward. So, 87 to go. Bit of a bit of a dodgy line. Hmm. Yeah, too short. Another chip. Don't think we've made a green in about three holes. What does your man want? Spiral shot. Alright. We'll try it. Didn't get it. Didn't get the... Didn't get the shot either. That's what comes from being cocky. Another par. I'd start for those 12 footers on the green again. Is a par three. It's a 16 par 3. Gotta get this close. Come on. <gasps> nice shot. Ooh, wet. How did I underread that so much? Well, Suzuki, not close enough though. I'm gonna take a bogey here. Uh, down to four. See where I got six under. It's a par four. It's a seventeen par four. Got five power shots to, for days here. I assume you don't miss the impact completely. Might as well use them. Nearly 300. It's 80 to go, but it's a way uphill. One of those ones you kind of want to flop it up there. Yeah, too much on it. Wow. So we've got a birdie pup, but again, it's a beast of a pup. Pull the string, pull the string. Ah, no, just a bit high. Just a bit high. But you put it 20 foot away. Incredibly difficult to make it. It's par 5 to finish. Again, you can just hit this because you've got to hold for the water if you've got the custom clubs, but we haven't got that problem. It's gonna run on. It's 
so if we can get this close, we've got an evil chance if we can get it close. Well, you certainly didn't use perfect impact and it's gone way right. Hasn't even made the green. Bah. Right. Time for a bit of chipping magic. Oh, that's not bad. So, we end up at five under with the standard clubs. 1997 points. Let's see with the custom clubs this time up. I mean, this should just make the course ridiculously sure. The par 4 should basically become par 3 in reality. Is the theory. But of course, you've got to hit the shot. So, we hit every fairway. We hit two thirds of the greens. I mean, our impact's about 43%. Our longest drive is 323, 1997 points, 5 under. We'll compare that with our with our custom club setup. So, same gig, different clubs. So, 9 hole round. Let's go for my level 21 custom clubs. Thank you very much. And let's crack on. So, almost straight away, we can pretty much drive the green. <laughs> the issue being finding it. <laughs> the problem here is you've got to get a bounce off this down slope and a roll. We found the fairway at least. Haven't quite driven the green. But it gives us a chip. Good, good. Oh, line. <laughs> so instead of a 13 foot birdie, we've got a 1.3 foot birdie. And we had a good shout at the eagle. It's a birdie start. It's a powerful now, this hole, before we had to kind of didn't have to worry about anything, we were trying to drive onto that. We now got to thread this little needle here. Trying to avoid the two bunkers. Because we've got the length usually to drive up onto the green. You're going to be a bit short, and it might just make it on the front edge. Problem being, you end up off the back if you're not careful. So, 27 foot power. For an eagle. Looks like it slopes up. In the bag. Let's go. Good, good. Pup. Great pup for the eagle. So that gets us to three under. Now, the clubs don't help you here. Oh, that's about. If you had a custom set that had um, good control stats, they'd really help you out here. I don't. Oh, over pitched it. Oh, we cooked that. It's not going to come back. It's off the back. So we got a cheeky little chip. Oh, that's power. Line would have been good if it had been a touch softer. So I'm going to take the power there. No, it wasn't. It was meant. It was not great. Um, so again, we can make short work of this. The difference here will be our second shot will be about 100 yards and a short iron, not a long iron. Which again, just improves your overall accuracy and just get it that much closer with the shorter iron. 
Yes, yeah, so we're down inside wedge range. Come back, boy. There you go, got it inside five foot. Don't let the eagles for an eagle. I mean, and that's the difference. The difference is turning those long iron shots into short iron shots. <laughs> so five under, par four. Oh, fourteen. It's a par four. Now this, I think, is almost drivable. Yeah, you can almost drive this. You've got to be super careful because it's super easy to get this wet. Yeah, good shot. Oh, that's not going to make it. Ah, didn't get it right enough. Ah, oh, never mind. Don't take your eye off the gate. See, the clubs aren't perfect. You still got to make the shot. Under read the wind a bit there. So we get a chip for the par. Oh. oh. Line wasn't good, and I put too much mustard on the thing. So we'll take a bogey for four under. So 15. So again, we're not trying to drive up there, we're trying to drive onto the fair, we're onto the green. Masterful. Trying to leave yourself a nice short chip. Or even a putt if you can get it up there, not quite. Four, five to finish. Again, it's not a lot of help to you here. Beyond that, I had a sighter, I suppose. And I suppose actually the additional power means you can play a shorter club for the same length than you would do otherwise. At least we're on the green this time. Still left myself a bit of a pub. Can we get it? Yep. Got it. Gets us to six. Again, the question is, can you get it up that slope enough? What's the point of playing the power shot if you don't give it all the power? Probably didn't have enough to get up that hill anyway. So 31 yards. Champion. You can just get it that much closer because you are that much closer. In she goes. Seven under. Got the par five to go. The difference here is I've now actually got to worry about hitting it out the end. So he wants 320. My real worry is driving it too close to the water, coming off the short stuff. Because it's down here, it'll keep rolling. That's okay. So, 116 to go, which puts it into wedge range. Oh, 
And that's the difference, really, is you're playing wedges and much shorter irons, which are just so much easier to be accurate with, rather than playing three irons, four irons. Oh, that nearly wanted to go, didn't it? Which means you can put it two foot away for an eagle. So we're going to get the nine under. I mean, and we could afford to drop shots and still make nine under. So that's the difference, really, with custom clubs. So we've still got the power on the bogey in there, but we managed to make three eagles. Let's have a look at our stats. I don't know, what's my daily rival score? Someone's got 16. Yeah. 9, 11. Okay. Yeah, so we got 2,500 points. 400 yard drive. Got a longer putt, which doesn't change the price of fish. Our impacts are up, but they're not that much better. We missed the fairway because we were going for it. And we got more greens because we were close up. So you can kind of see the difference that the custom clubs make. So yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you've got custom clubs, I hope it's kind of helpful to kind of show you the, the real differences. Um, yeah. So that's it. Um, I'm going to do a live stream Sunday night. I'll probably play all the DLC courses or something like that. Um, so that'll be 9 o'clock BSE Sunday night. Um, there's a card up in the channel, I think. Um, so that's it. I'll see you next time for a bit more of everybody's golf. Please like, share and subscribe. Um, please leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time.